closing the orgasm gap. And let's start with what the heck an orgasm gap is. Well, this is something that primarily exists in heterosexual relationships. And it is for a very simple reason. The average man takes seven and a half minutes to reach orgasm. And the average woman takes 20 minutes. So the way we're built, our knowledge of our bodies, our sex education growing up, our comfort experimenting with ourselves, there's many different factors that go into the sexual development and the sexual makeup of men and women that probably explains this gap. But the point is that the gap exists. And if you want to create mutual sexual satisfaction, you have to close that gap. So how do you do that? Well, what it, you either have to bring her you know, quicker or you have to slow him down or you have to find a way to meet in the middle, okay? So here's how it could work. And I'm going to give you several ideas for closing the orgasm gap and creating mutual pleasure for both of you. First of all, very simple, straightforward, but amazing how many people don't do this foreplay, okay? So most women actually don't reach orgasm through intercourse. And if they do reach orgasm through intercourse, it's because for most of them, they're in a position where there's clitoral stimulation during intercourse. The majority of women who reach orgasm do so, do so through clitoral stimulation, and that happens through manual stimulation or oral stimulation. So if you are focusing not only on those aspects, but also on the erogenous zones, the different, her neck, her inner arms, her inner thighs. Watch my video about oral sex on a woman, right? Think about, for women, you know, I always say that men are like a microwave oven when it comes to arousal and getting aroused. Women are like a slow burning stove. So, you have to like start with the sensuality and you have to focus on slowly building arousal. You don't go right to the breast and genitals. You work your way up to that. You graze by those, right? And you spend a lot of time before he even gets aroused. He may not even be aroused yet, right? You know, in terms of an erection, I'm sure he's aroused emotionally and sexually, but he may not have a full erection even yet. But fully focusing on her arousal at first and her sensual connection, because the reason I have found that it takes so long for women, you know, 20 minutes, not that that's so long, but compared to men, is because for women where, you know, it's in our DNA, it's the way we evolved, and it's one of our amazing gifts, is that we're multitaskers. So our brains are wired in a way where we're thinking about lots of things at the same time. And there are evolutionary reasons for that that I'll get into in another video, the differences between men and women and how we approach sexuality and what's in our DNA, right? But for women in particular, it can be hard to quiet the mind. For men, most men, unless they have financial or work-related stress, they everything flies out of their mind with arousal. They can just stay totally focused, blinders on with the situation at hand. For women, if we've had a really busy day or we're worried about something with the kids or work or our family or our friends, it's very hard to get present again and get back into the body. So when you are just building it up with the sensuality, a sensual massage, making out, stroking, kissing the erogenous zones, you're helping her get present and get back into her body and get into the sexual scenario with you, and then she can start to get aroused. And most women don't like direct clitoral or nipple stimulation until they're like further along the arousal process. So if you have now stoked her stove and brought the temperature up and moved her arousal up and, wow, maybe even gave her an orgasm through oral or manual stimulation, You've already closed the orgasm gap, right? But if you move her far up the arousal process, and this does take some coordination and communication because the way that arousal works is that you go from, you know, no arousal, arousal, plateau, where it kind of evens off, 
orgasm, and then resolution. And if a woman is, ca- women are capable of multiple orgasms, so what happens there is arousal, plateau, orgasm, back down just a little bit, back up to orgasm, back down to plateau, back up to orgasm, and so forth. So if you can, if she's communicating, okay, I'm getting close, I'm, you know, I'm getting up there, right? She's kind of up at that plateau area. Now, seven and a half minutes might work, right? So all else fails, you give her an orgasm first. But to close the orgasm gap, you get her all the way up to plateau before you even start to have intercourse. And then seven and a half minutes may work. Now, the other way is to prolong his ability to last, okay? So I've made a video already that you can check out on how to attend to early ejaculation and make yourself last longer, but I'll get into it a little bit here for the purposes of closing the orgasm gap. So obviously, you know, not focusing on his arousal at first and focusing more on hers helps, but then he needs to learn to control his arousal. And men actually can last as long as they want if they learn to control their arousal. So there are different ways to do that, using your breath, using your Kegel muscles, which are those muscles that you use to stop the flow of urine, and also even using external things. Like there's a product that I really like called Promesset, and I'll put the details in the description so you can find it. But the thing that sets this product apart is that a lot, it helps a man last longer, basically. And a lot of the products that are out there are numbing agents. And, you know, it's great if you last longer, but who wants to be numb? Much less if you're having intercourse, you know, she's also now, if she's against the penis, she's now getting the numbing agent. So this is a solution that you put on before sex on the penis and it goes into the skin. It has this, it has something in it that allows it to permeate the skin and go to the nerve receptors under the skin. So it's actually not numbing you on the outside. It's kind of numbing things a little bit more on the inside. And so it allows you, you still have sensation, but it allows you to last a lot longer. The other ways, just really quickly, because like I said, I have another video that gets into this that gets sort of further into how to slow your arousal down is using your breath. So really taking deep breaths and also squeezing. So the best way to practice this as a guy, if you want to last longer than seven minutes, is to use either the stop-start technique or the squeeze technique during self-stimulation first, where think you know the arousal is a little less and you're more in control, and then you get good at that, and then during sex you can practice it with your partner. So the squeeze technique is basically where you squeeze the base of the penis when you're at like a seven out of ten, ten being the point of no return with orgasm, right? Until you come back down to a four or five. And that's the squeeze technique and the stop start is exactly what it says. You stop, pull out, slow down, take some deep breaths, squeeze those Kegel muscles, the muscles that you use to stop the flow of urine, slow things down, and then start again. So there are lots of techniques you can use to slow him down and also to move her further along the arousal process before you have intercourse. But the truth is that the, you know, it's, we wonder why we have this orgasm gap, right? It really has to do with evolution and our socialization. And it doesn't have to be there. Every relationship, every heterosexual relationship can close the orgasm gap. It just takes some practice, some knowledge, and some communication. So hopefully you've got a starting point here to get you going. Let me know how it goes. And if there's a topic you want to hear about, I am always here to help you learn to love and be loved better.